I'm Gracie from Backstage Features. It's so great to talk to you guys. Congratulations on season two of Carnival Row. It is amazing. I'm wondering, what was that like for you guys kind of stepping into this character that you know, but that you've had time to develop since the first season? Artie, I'll start with you. Yeah, it's it was a bit like greeting an old friend, really. You know, um, the the costumes helped to sort of fast track that that familiarization or re-familiarization um, because yeah it's like that's the only time in my life that I've worn costumes like that has been on Carnival Row so immediately it's this sort of unique kind of um, feeling and um, yeah it was um, it was great to be able to it's such a luxury to be able to revisit a character and a, and a story you know um, a lot of not regrets, but just things that I wish I'd explored more in the first series. Um, it was so wonderful to 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 do that the second time round, um, and and come to it with fresh eyes. It was great. Yeah, definitely, Caroline. Yeah, I agree. I think having the time between seasons is such a gift um, because it it allows all your thoughts to just stew and grow. And by the time you get to set, you just know them so much better. Um, similarly for me with the with the costumes though because I have to wear a corset <laughs> so that really puts me into Sophie straight away yeah um, I was gonna say um, these are not <laughs> costumes you wear in your everyday life <laughs> <laughs> no they are not and the world as well the sets I'm never in places like that also for me because Sophie in the first season never ventured to um, Balefire Hall so then being able to go into that set it felt very special and it yeah. felt like me as Caroline and Sophie were um, <laughs> were advancing to the next level of my career. Yeah, and a big part of this show is the fan base. I know they're all excited for the second season to come out, but I'm wondering, do you guys have a favorite or most memorable fan interaction from your time on this show? Caroline, I'll start with you. Ooh, actually I do. I, um, I had a very lovely email that came through my agent from a girl at school um doing her a-levels just asking to if she could chat <laughs> to me and 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 I did and we had this hour-long zoom conversation because she loved Sophie um because she loved that Sophie was a woman in a man's world in parliament so even though obviously Sophie has some questionable elements to her um she also was quite inspiring to girls which I which was very nice for me and yeah that's my favorite I love that Already yeah that. it was really it was unexpected <laughs> yeah it's nice to kind of get in touch with the fans sometimes yeah, yeah yeah and she was bold I was like if you're bold enough to email <laughs> and ask I Respect. will talk to you yeah. you know like yes yeah ask for what you want you know <laughs> I loved it <laughs> yeah Already, I, how about you for me I mean you know while Sophie definitely has redeeming features, you know, she's a strong, um, independent woman uh, <laughs> who who, um, who takes on the patriarchy in a way that is very laudable. Um, I, I would be worried if someone identified with Jonah in the same way, you know, or like <laughs> saw the rede the rede I mean, you know, for me, of course, Jonah has redeeming features, but I but I I, I hope they're not too sort of universally uh, visible to people uh, watching the show. But no, I, I received a couple of really lovely letters from people who'd watched the show during the pandemic and who, and for whom it had been, uh, yeah, a, 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 a lifeline of sorts, you know, uh, or, a, you know, a kind of a portal to a different world that had, um, you know, allowed their imagination to run free during a time that was, um, yeah, uh, incredibly difficult and mundane. So uh, I'm glad that, that the show has has had that effect on people it's really lovely yeah and I mean there's so many words to describe this show but I'm wondering if you guys could pick three in total to describe it what would they be already I'll start with you <laughs> just three words okay just three words um um gruesome dastardly and magical okay fair enough Caroline how about you well, you took one of them, Artie, so uh -huh. on magical. <laughs> um, okay. Fantastical. Dark. 
life. Mm. And fascinating. Terrible words. Terrible words. I'm going to work on them. <laughs> okay. You were put on the spot. So they were great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Absolutely great. But I'm wondering this is the second season, but it's also the final season. What do you hope that fans and viewers take from this season as a whole? Caroline, I'll start with you. I think that the general themes of this season are fighting for what you believe in and and figuring out what that is and how far you'll go for what that is. So I hope that people leave feeling a bit inspired to fight for what they believe in yeah definitely Artie how about you um I just think the second series allows the characters to to breathe and and uh, in a way that 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 I mean they were already beautifully realized in the first season but I mean they can become since this is the final chapter it, it hopefully the audience will will sort of see enough enough sort of dimensions of each character for them to kind of live in their memories as like, you know, memorable characters and, and kind of, kind of <laughs> as friends sounds a bit tragic, um, but you know, like, you know, like memorable um, and familiar characters that that people won't forget easily. And that, um, and that, that, yeah, will will stick in their imagination. And so I think, yeah, the characters really um, getting, getting to have another sort of three dimensional view at these at these very uh uh different and um uh yeah fascinating characters and creatures will be a real feast for the audience yeah yeah well thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on season two it was so great talking to you oh thank Thank you so much much.